Hey, this is Rich Light and Gadget, and we thought we'd give you guys a quick demo on the major MX's MHL feature. And in case you guys didn't know, MHL stands for Mobile High Definition Link. And what it is, is just using the micro USB port to do an HDMI and video and audio output. So what you need is obviously an MHL adapter, and the one we're using here is actually Galaxy S2's um, HDMI adapter. So, and it's uh, compatible with the MX, fortunately. As you can see, the adapter itself requires external power through micro USB. So, sadly, that means you do need uh, to handle one more cable. But on the flip side, the adapter can simultaneously juice up your phone while it's connected. So it's not the end of the world. And as you can see, here it is. You get the full home screen. You get basically everything replicated from the phone screens onto the big screen. And in terms of delay, well, there is a tiny, tiny little bit of delay from our input to the, the display on the big screen. Anyway, so let's give it a go with a game. And we're going to check out Shadow Gun here, which is um, a 3D HD video game. It's pretty intense as well, so as you'll see in a bit. Now the problem here is that we're not really used to uh, looking at the... Uh, okay, let's, let's kill this bastard. All right, haha, <laughs> there you go. So, as you can see, we're actually a bit too close to the screen right now, and in fact, it's pretty difficult to play this game while looking... Uh, whoops, our bad. It's pretty difficult to look at the big screen while trying to use the virtual buttons at the same time because you can't really see or feel where the buttons are. So you might need some... Uh, things like the fling minis uh, to add some touch and feel. Oh dear, what the hell is that? Whoa, 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 whoa easy big boy. Alright, there we go. So, ah, right. But you get the idea. Um, we haven't really noticed much performance reduction uh, due to the bigger display. Uh, however, uh, we think because um, it doesn't actually do 1080p free output here, it's, um, you can still see the jagged lines if you look up close enough. But still, for, uh, for a 3D game like that, it's pretty awesome. We just wish we had a longer HDMI cable, well, or micro USB cable, or both. Now let's have a look at... Uh, HD video output. So we've got a selection of movie trailers here downloaded from Apple.com. So these are pretty high quality MOV files. Let's have a look at Many Back Black 3 at 1080p. And as you can see, the video has disappeared on the phone itself. So it's fully focused on the big screen. And if you look close enough, the frame rate is not as it's meant to be. Extraterrestrial activity on Earth. Marco, you know you're not supposed to be north of Canal Street. Who is Snapple? So you can see, if you look at the mouth, there is a there is a significant delay between the audio and video here. So that's not very good. Uh, but then again, the uh, this 1080p video clip has a very high video bit rate. So we are really pushing the phone to its limits, maybe. But let's try a 720p version of the same clip. If you look closely enough, it should be a lot smoother. We are no one. Yep. And again, keep a close eye on Will Smith's mouth while he talks. You know you're not supposed to be north of Canal Street? Who is Snapple? Relax, punk. They're looking for me, not you. So there is still a very, very tiny bit of delay between the audio and video, but it's not the end of the world. And hopefully Major will be able to tweak this in the software. And also, we haven't noticed that delay when looking, uh, when watching that same clip, that 720p clip on the phone itself. So yes, it's, hopefully it's something that Major can fix. But uh, here you have it, that, that's the MHL feature in a nutshell. Thank <laughs> you.